This is a video about the types of air masses that affect North America. An air mass is a large body of air that is similar in temperature throughout. Air masses are labeled based on two things, if the air is dry or moist, and the temperature of the air. If the air mass is formed over land, then it is dry and called continental. If the air mass is formed over water, then it is moist and called maritime. There are three classifications for temperature. The coldest type of air masses are called arctic. These are very bitter and are formed near the poles. Next are polar air masses. These air masses have cold air. The third type is tropic air masses. These consist of warm air. Now put these two qualifications together to decide what type of air mass it is. If it is above the poles, then the air mass is called continental arctic. If the air mass is dry and cold, then it is called continental polar. If the air mass is warm and dry, it is called continental tropic. If the air is wet and cold, then it is called maritime polar. If the air mass is warm and moist, then it is called maritime tropic. Now, let's talk about some places that these air masses form. A continental arctic air mass might be formed over northern Canada. A continental polar air mass might be formed over southern Canada or northern United States. A maritime polar air mass might be formed over the ocean off the coast of New England. A continental tropic air mass might be formed over Mexico. A maritime tropic air mass might be formed over the Gulf of Mexico. As a quick recap, air masses can be dry or moist and vary in temperature. These qualities are determined based off of where the air masses are formed and are how air masses are labeled. This concludes our video of the types of air masses that affect North America.